Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you so much, folks, for those of you to join me, or even if this is your first video, second, you're, I don't know, guys, how many days in two years. I mean, <laughs> just, just thank you, guys. Just, I give God praise for you for joining me on this channel, Uncle Todd for Christ, as we continue to get in this daily devotional, and he walks with me out of our daily bread, just reading these devotionals, reading the study scriptures. I'm praying we're doing that, just tying in the the message is that God gives these authors, <clears throat> and then this what he puts on me as we break down these study scriptures and just become, I don't want to say become better people, but you know, you know what I mean, guys? Just becoming who we're supposed to be in Christ, knowing our true identity. Amen. But thank you for joining me today. Today is Saturday, June 24th, 2023. It is 1049 a.m. Eastern Time as I speak and record. Um, let's find out a little bit about ourselves today, folks. Let's see what the Lord says. Um, uh, today's title stay in the sunshine stay in the sunshine and our study scriptures is john chapter 15 anybody's been following along for the past couple of months guys that that is the uh the scriptures the chapter that talks about the vine and the branches and the fruit so john chapter 15 verses 5 through 17 again guys please read it even if you think you got it memorized Read it again. Just watch how the word of God comes alive. It changes. I mean, my brother Dave this morning, scriptures that we've heard and read, but man, if you stand back and allow the Holy Spirit to explain that verse to you and you don't have to ask or talk, just sit there and, and, and uh, ponder and meditate on that verse. And guys, I promise you, it's almost like you can see it moving and breathing. I, I promise you that. Uh, John 15 verses 5 through 17 and our lead off verse is John 15 verse 10. This is what Jesus says. If you keep my commands, you will remain in love, just as I have kept my father's commands and remain in his love. There's another one of those if and then statements, guys. Um, Richard DeHaan, our author, writes this today. <clears throat> Excuse me. In his book, The Best is Yet to Be, true statement, Henry Durbanville told a story of a little girl in London who won a prize at a flower show. Her entry was grown in an old cracked teapot and had been placed in the rear attic window of a rundown tenement house. When asked how she managed to raise such a lovely flower in such an unlikely environment, whoo, that, guys, is that speaking yet? Is, is anybody hear that? She said she moved it around so it would always be in the sunlight. Once again, guys, that's just the first paragraph. <laughs> uh, Durbanville then reminded his readers of Jesus's words. As the father loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love, John 15, 9. We learn from this that we too must keep ourselves continually in the warmth of Jesus Christ's love, the son. And guys, you know what the Lord put on me? This is a beautiful background. Sunflowers are beautiful and you look at the word sunflower, S-U-N-F-L-O-W-E-R, break that down into term word, two words, and call it, he just put on me, be a sun, S-O-N, capital S, follower. Instead of a sunflower, be a sun follower, guys. I just think that's so beautiful, just the way he speaks. That's a t-shirt, amen. <laughs> um, we abide in Christ's love when we show love to others. Jesus made this clear when he said, if you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Guys, and we've been reading that a lot lately. I think God's speaking to us. Um, I think we need to put, our, put ourselves aside and put others in front of us and start, you know, reaching out, God. And again, you know, the Holy Spirit just, Ask God for God's discernment and guides, folks. Don't just do. Don't just say, you know what? I'm going to give it, a, give it a whirl, see what happens. And you know, if you're doing that in absolute faith, it's going to turn out for the good. I promise you that. But just get along with God. Ask Him. They say, show me, Lord. Show me where you want to use me. He wants to use you everywhere you go. He wants you to love everywhere you go. But just to understand, we can't be going out there nonstop. And people will disagree with that, guys. Just trust me. That that discernment. Just pray for God's discernment, wisdom, and guidance. Amen. We feel and there's lots of scriptures in there too. God, I'm sorry. There's lots of scriptures in there about we uh 
we we plan our own steps, but it's God that ultimately directs our path. You know, you know and uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, our favorite, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but you know, in all your ways acknowledge him. And God, he'll direct your path, guys. He'll call to me, and I'll show you amazing things you do not understand. Jeremiah 33, 3. Lots of stuff in the Bible, guys. Uh, we feel the warmth of Christ's love when we obey his commandment to love and serve others. That's the way to stay in the sunshine. Thank you, Richard DeHaan. And our quote today, our love for God is seen in our love for others. True statement, folks. Uh, man, stay in the sunshine. I just like that title. And I like to study scriptures. I love the background, that picture that speaks. But stay in God. We got to keep, we got to understand that if we're not staying in, in the sunlight, S-O-N light. If we're not being sun followers, uh, and you know what, guys, you've heard me say before, every Saturday morning, me and my brother Dave, we do a Bible study every Saturday morning. I don't think we've we missed one maybe a few months ago. Something came up. Um, but uh, we have not met. We get on we get in the, on the phone or we meet, whatever it takes, guys. We get in the Word of God we start reading. And we had a powerful one. We did Ephesians chapter two, I believe. And when we read it, we were on fire. The scriptures were speaking to us. We prayed out. And instantly, we're starting to talk about worldly things. I'm talking about getting these rolls ready for tomorrow's church lunch. He's talking about going somewhere down the road to wash somebody's car. Man, just like that, guys, we got out of the sunlight. We got into the world immediately. And there's so much in scriptures that say that Satan comes immediately to steal the word. And guess what? He did. But guess what? We noticed it and recognized it immediately. And we got back in the sunlight. We got back into the fact that we are true sun followers. Amen. Capital S again. S-O-N. But staying in the sunshine, staying in God's presence. Just and we know we know that God is always with us, but we need to know that, guys. We need to have that mentality all day long, every day he blesses us with that we are constantly in his presence. We're in his presence. He's in ours. He's in us. We're in him. We're rooted together. The vine, the branches, the fruit. God. And again, like the author saying, the author's just here pointing out about loving one another. And guys, you know, sometimes we got to love those that we do not care for. There's a lot that we, it's, man, it's a sick world, guys. But if we're not that example, that loving example of Jesus Christ, to the ones that are broken and fallen and are and are twisted and perverted according to this world and its its generation, guys. How are we gonna how are we gonna teach them the love of Christ if we just ignore them? It's tough. It's not easy. It's not fun. But the Bible clearly states that's what we're called to do, and this is how it's gonna be. It ain't gonna be pretty. It's gonna be ugly. You will have tribulation, but take heart. I've overcome the world. Is what God promises us. And then again, look at yesterday. He's given us perfect peace. He's given us that peace to understand this is the way it's going to be. Stay in my son, S-O-N, and just stay, you know, again, you're divine. Or I'm, he's divine. We're the branches. So we stay rooted in him, guys, and just uh, just staying in his word every day and taking that time every single day, whatever it takes, whatever you got to do. Get alone with daddy, pray, meditate, read these studies, and just allow the power of the Holy Spirit to teach you all things. We did that the other day. I think it was uh, John 14 right here. John 14, verse 26. It is the Holy Spirit that will teach you everything. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this Saturday. And until tomorrow, the 25th, enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.